Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I quit and vlog last night after Linnea's little ceremony ended because I just needed to process a few things and just kind of wanted to like sit in that space for a little bit and acknowledge it and then um, really figure out what it is that's like making me cry all the time. <laughs> I just couldn't vlog last night after the event ended logistically it was quite difficult because we helped clean up and then we we got the kids home and per usual there's this whole buffet of food at the event that the kids are too busy playing that they don't want to eat so then of course they get home and they're like hey we're hungry so i had to feed them and then we had to get them off to bed yeah the event was fantastic it was really great i think the benefit of those sorts of events is that for the children it's you know, they they say it's like a German rite of passage, but even more than more so than that. Hi, Elliot. But even more than that, it's um, it's a way to add something final to an otherwise incredibly changing time. You know, transition is full of change. You want a hug? You want to say? Oh, you want to come say hi? Come say hi. Hi. Hi, Elliot. How are you? Good. Good. We're going to fly on an airplane day after tomorrow. Are you ready? Yes. Yep. It, it provides something final and definite. It marks an end. And that was really good because I think for the last few uh, weeks and days, Linnea and I, we've both sort of been like teeter-tottering on this space of, oh, but it's going to end soon. And now having the little fest done and out of the way, it it now feels like, okay, we've ended this phase. We've ended this chapter of her life. Not that it doesn't take the sting away, but it was good to, it was good to kind of be there with other parents that are feeling the same things and experiencing the same, the same time that your child is. You know, I was talking to Roman about it last night and the thing is being there with the other parents and other kids, you realize that your child is part of a bigger picture and by that I mean they're all they've all reached a certain level of maturation they've all reached a certain age of skills that it became very obvious that they really do in fact need more there's always going to be a part of me that wants my children to stay young and small and live with me forever but what I realized is that the best thing for Linnea the best thing for all of my kids is to find their way on their own. And this is one of those moments where you realize it's best for her to go off to school and, and have something more and be, be challenged in a different way than she's really ever been challenged before and um, to be held accountable for her assignments and her work. And it's, it's, it's something she's ready for and so for me as a mom, it's a really good feeling knowing that we're going into this, this phase with a child who's ready. The worst thing would be for her to just be held back over and over and over and over in kindergarten because I'm not ready for her to grow up. <laughs> She's ready. And that's, that's something that hit me last night when I saw her with the other kids is that she's, she's ready. And she's excited about being ready and about starting this new new transition. It doesn't make it sting any less, that's for sure. But, um, but it is a good feeling knowing that this is, we're doing the best thing for her. So it's good. We're okay. I'm okay this morning. I just, I just wanted to, um, like I said, just talk to Roman a little bit last night, feel the feelings. Yesterday definitely took some of the painful part away and it made me really excited for her. And um, now that the Sukkertutenfest is out of the way, she's gonna finish kindergarten tomorrow and then she'll have her Einschulung in a few weeks, um, in just a few short months. And it'll be good because she'll be seeing some familiar faces that she, um, has really grown to know and love so deeply in the last few years. And I think for me, that's, that's part of it. That's part of the whole, uh, the whole part of all this is that 
I told Roman that for Callum, there's been so much instability that we, we, you know, he went to nursery at one school in London, then he went to reception in, at one school, and that's fine. You know, that's that's the normal way of doing things. It wasn't abnormal for him to do that. That was part of the process. Um, I definitely felt the feelings. I, I mean, I definitely cried his last day of school, his last day of nursery school. So I cried. I cried his last day of reception. It, it, I cried his last day of kindergarten here in Germany. But that's kind of my point. He had nursery at one school, reception at another school, came to kindergarten at another school here in Germany. Um, and then he went off to his elementary school. But for Linnea, she's been, and that's the thing, is that while Callum's had transitions, even here in Germany, from one year at kindergarten going on to school, Linnea's kindergarten has been the constant for us, that we brought Callum to kindergarten and then we brought Linnea to her her kindergarten. Callum went off to his new school, his primary school. Linnea stayed at her kindergarten. So her kindergarten has always been the constant in our family. That with all the other transitions happening, taking place, all the things going on, pandemic, new little brother entering the family, Callum going off to school, um, trips, things coming and going, lockdowns. Linnea's kindergarten has been the, st the steady place that we've brought her to. So I think for that reason, it's quite bittersweet. It's not that, you know, I'm best friends with all of her teachers and I'm going to miss seeing her teachers. I mean, we care deeply for her teachers and are so grateful for what they've done. And their role in Linnea's life is unparalleled. And we're so grateful. I think a lot of the feelings has to do with the, the, place, of, the place of stability that it's provided for our whole family in certain ways. It It's going to be a bit strange until we find the new normal again. It's also just the realization that your children are their own people with their own paths, their own journeys. They, they don't belong to us. I think if there's one thing that surprised me so much about parenthood is that you realize you're really just a steward for your child. You're, you're their guardian. You are not your children don't belong to you. They belong to themselves. And it's my job to keep them safe and to guide them and to provide them with the tools to make good choices for themselves. And that's the whole point of, of all of this is that eventually she will go off on her own someday. You know, that's the dream. That's the hope that they are productive, healthy citizens and can take care of themselves and potentially other children of their own. In in recent weeks, as I've been preparing for our upcoming trip and I've I've had Linnea tag along for different different outings and just hanging out with her, it feels like hanging out as opposed to just taking care of her or keeping up with her mood or if she's hungry or if she's sleepy. You know, we're, we're actually hanging out together and she's talking about things and we're talking about life and I love the person she is. I will just always have super special memories of Linnea as a four-year-old playing unicorns and full of make-believe and wearing uh, very bright sunglasses and just uh, feather boas and sequins and I just, I love this phase. And she's my only little girl. So Roman and I talked about that too because when she's out of a phase, it's like that's it. You know, so when she's done with her stuffed animals, that's pretty much it. You know, she's, it's time to pack that stuff up. With Callum, we kind of have in the back of our minds that, oh, when he's done with stuff, you know, maybe hold on to it because Elliot might want to play with it. And we're seeing that already, the cars, the train tracks. It's, it's hitting me way harder than I thought it would. And I think that's just going to be the reality for me as a mom, is that each of my kids are so special. Didn't want to do this. Each of my kids are so special. Being entrusted with their lives is the greatest gift to my own life. So, anyways, I need to get started with the day. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Need to keep cleaning. Um, tomorrow's the last day for both Callum and Linnea, so just getting things ready for them. Um, yeah. That's it. <laughs>